Hey guys, how's it going? So if I look like I was crying, I just got done with an episode of Parenthood. If you've ever seen Parenthood, you know what I'm talking about. Just turn it on and you start bawling your eyes out two seconds into the episode. It's fabulous, but that's actually not what my video is about, believe it or not. We're going to be talking about one of my favorite Christmas traditions. We started this last year. Um, if you've heard of Elf on the Shelf, you know all about the, like, I think he's like $30, $30 elf who destroys your house and makes messes everywhere and scares your kids into being good. Our kids don't believe in Elf on the Shelf because I worked at Target, so they would go to Target a lot and they would see this elf in a box. And my daughter one day said, how is he in the box if he's like floating around people's houses? So I literally just told her, I was like, it's a doll. It's literally a doll. I didn't sugarcoat it. I didn't do anything like nice about it. I kind of feel bad, but she was fine. She didn't really know who the elf on the shelf was. But as I looked into the elf on the shelf even more, I was like mad at myself for telling her the elf on the shelf was not real. So we had an idea while we were at Dollar Tree. We bought him. This is our kindness elf. Brooke named him, what did she name him? Jingle Jangle. <laughs> and he is really cute. And yes, he still has the tag because sometimes I hang him from things. And he requires this to hang from various locations. But our kids know he's not real. I wasn't like, this is the real elf on the shelf. They know this is just the doll too. We told them that Santa called us because, you know, I have Santa's phone number. Santa and I are like this. Santa called us and he was like, you know, those kids have to do 25 good deeds before Christmas or they don't get their gifts. So that's what we told them because the big man in red told us to tell them that. And they literally were so excited. Last year it was perfect. Like we moved him perfectly and we gave him new little cards. This year I have forgotten to move him several times but told them what their good deed was. They do look forward to finding him. They said the good deeds that come along with him are actually a lot fun. Okay, they did not say the word good deeds. They said the things that Santa wants them to do are fun. And I've noticed, like, our kids have a little more of a grasp on what Christmas is about because of this. I am not going to say that I came up with the kind of self idea. I actually stole it off Pinterest. But this is a tradition that's really close to my heart. And I feel like as it gets closer to Christmas, people are talking about traditions more and more. So I wanted to just talk about one of ours. So the first question I always get asked about our kindness elf is when does he come out? A lot of people have theirs come out on Thanksgiving Day. I can't think of that many like good deeds for my kids to do as bad as it sounds. Ours comes out on December 1st and our kids know that and they get really excited like the last week of November. They're like running around like cleaning the house so the elf does not get lost and they can find him easier and they just they had a countdown this year for Jingle to come they were so happy so on December 1st I put him somewhere and they have to go find him I always write them a little note like saying okay last year we had so much fun let's do this again I like how I say always, like we've been doing this for like 30 years, but this is really only our second year. And they just have a really good time looking for him. The next question I get is, how do you come up with the good deeds? So I cheated a little. I went on Pinterest because any good idea I have is from Pinterest. Like I, I'm not a genius. I don't come up with cool things. Like, the only one that I came up with is we donate to a specific organization, and I can't say the name because that will literally give away where I live. Like, it's a local charity. And that's the only one I came up with because I love that charity so much, and 
they were actually short on donations this year, which bummed me out. So we donated twice. That was their good thing two days in a row. <laughs> they didn't notice, though. <laughs> it didn't click in their heads. But just for example, some of our good deeds were like donate old toys, donate old clothes, donate old books, make cards for police officers, make cards for the mailman, I almost said police officers twice, um, make an ornament for a family member, make a love jar, which is like this jar that you put like things you love about your sibling or your best friend or your grandma or your mom. And it's just, it's really fun. It's really cute. That's probably one of my favorite ones, especially like hearing the things they love because they can't all write yet. So I'm writing them. They're like, I love what was one? I love that he cleans up my messes was what they put for their dad. Jason, you love for something. I no one made me a love jar, so it's a little gift hint. Um the other question we get a lot is does your elf make a mess? No, our elf is nice. He is a kindness elf. He does not make messes. No, no. That was one of the rules when Brooke was with me when I bought him and she was like, I don't care as long as he doesn't mess up my room because we have a rule in our house. If their rooms aren't clean when Santa comes, Santa doesn't leave gifts. That's just, he, he doesn't want to deal with messy rooms. So he's not going to leave you a gift if your room's messy. So their rooms are like spotless this time of year and I love it. So that was the only rule that Brooke had. Um, none of my other kids had any like stipulations. No one else was with me when I got it. They didn't really have a say. They just woke up the next day and he was there. <laughs> Why did we buy it is another thing I get because people literally, okay, so you can like order ones like this and have like names embroidered on them that cost like $25. So people think I spent that much on him. No, I literally was just at Dollar Tree one day and saw him. I was like, you're kind of cute. So we bought this one because our kids thought the elf on the shelf was kind of cute and they wanted to like hold him. Apparently you're not allowed to touch the elf on the shelf because it takes away his magic. Because my kids know this one is a toy, they are allowed to touch him. And it's actually a lot more fun in my opinion when your kid finds this guy in the morning and they're like, yeah, I found him. What's my good deed? What's my good deed? And they're so excited to do something good for someone. I love it. I honestly, I never thought I'd be that mom who gives in to like Pinterest things, but I definitely am. I'm becoming that mom and I can't imagine Christmas without him because they just, they look forward to it every single day. What's our good deed, mom? What's our good deed? What are we doing today? And it's making our Christmas interesting, which is Another big reason we're doing it because I don't really remember much about Christmas other than opening gifts. I don't remember anything about leading up to Christmas except going to church. A lot. Because I grew up Catholic. And I hated it, in case anyone was wondering. <laughs> There's blog posts about that. But I just, I want them to know that Christmas is not about them. It's not about receiving gifts. It's not about oh, I got more toys than Jack down the street did. It's not about that. It's about giving, and it's about being a good person, just in general. And I do hope that they take the things they learn throughout the month of December and apply them throughout the year. I've already seen it with a few of our kids. Like, Tyson is probably the most giving kid I've ever met because last year we did... A toys for tots thing we did it again this year and we gave them like each five dollars and we we're like okay buy a toy for toys for tots and he asked he was like well what's toys for tots because he was five and they need to know everything so we told him you know there's some kids who don't have everything you have and you are going to be Santa's helper and help him get some gifts for other kids he thought that was so cool. He was like, I'm Santa's helper. I'm like an elf. I'm the head elf. So it was really cute. And then we came home and he had his piggy bank. And he went to Jason's mom because I went to work and Jason went to work. So he went to Jason's mom and was like, I want to go buy more toys for this 
kid and like I don't want this to be the only gift that they get on Christmas and he was that way with our angel tree kid we picked a baby off the tree this year like a newborn baby and all they wanted was rattles and he was like no they need clothes and they need diapers and they need this and this and this and I was like I can't wait till you get a job and you can buy all these things on your own because I'm going broke. <laughs> I felt so bad because I was just, ah, oh, he's too giving. I'm hoping all our other kids, like, follow that. And it's just awesome watching them learn and everything. But, yeah, this is definitely one of our favorite Christmas traditions. I can't believe I just talked for almost 11 minutes about this one tradition. Good thing that's the only thing I wanted to talk about in this movie. So, if you guys have any really fun traditions, I'd love to know them. I love adding new traditions to our family, especially since this is only our second Christmas together. We are still, like, in that process of finding out what traditions work for us. And I would just love to know what you guys do. Like, do you open gifts on Christmas Eve? Do you open them on Christmas morning? Do you not get gifts at all? Do you go to a food bank? thing to go help out a soup kitchen. Do you volunteer at Ronald McDonald? My one sibling volunteers at Ronald McDonald every Christmas. What do you do? Leave it in the comments down below and let me know. Have a Merry Christmas guys and I will see you on Christmas.